Hi, it's me, Veronica. You know what happened yesterday? I went to farmer's market and I just to get my vegetable on you know, a daily basis, whatever I need vegetable. And then I found this the fresh shiitake mushroom. I was so excited because uh, I grew up with this one. Asian culture, you know, we always eat the shiitake mushroom because it's not only like it just to taste good, it's that there's so many health benefits. And so I was like thinking, you know, why not? Because when you cook shiitake mushroom, the texture is just like meat. So I was thinking, why not to make beef stuffed shiitake mushroom? So it tastes amazing. You, you, you have to try this one. So anyway, so I'm going to cook. I know you want to see the recipe right away. I, I love to cook right away too. But the fact that this is important, you want to know what you're getting, you know, from out of any the food that you eat. So I will explain to you top 10 health benefits of a shiitake mushroom. Number one, it boosts immune function. And also, it's very rich in vitamin B. So when you consume this one, it's like your energy level goes up. So it's excellent. Also, another thing is like they study about this one is a natural remedy, natural way, cancer treatment. And another thing is that yeah, also this one is the perfect for weight loss and fat loss. It's like, you know, like I don't really care about calorie, but this one is like there's almost no calorie. <laughs> So it's actually very good. So that's for the weight loss and fat loss. And another thing is very high in vitamin D. So therefore it's prevent bone loss. So if you worry about osteoporosis, you may want to add this one daily basis. And another one is excellent. Everybody gets stressed. Yeah, I get stressed too. It's excellent for actually regulate um, stress hormone. So, because it's a support adrenal function, so it's excellent. Also, another thing, this one is very rich in selenium. So, you know, the, when you consume the right amount of selenium, and it's actually improve your skin condition. So, it's, if you suffer from like acne and your dry skin, uh, you may want to try the shiitake mushroom. Also, very good bring down the reducing inflammation. You know, for me, I believe the most uh, the chronic pains or disease, anything, it's, a, it's coming from the inflammation. So any food that it bring down the inflammation, it, you must add in your uh, meal plan. So it's excellent for that. It's actually improve your brain function. It's really good. The last one is so good, that is for improve your gum health. It's the gum health is just so important. If you have a bleeding gums, and of course the vitamin C missing too, but at the same time, it's like you wanna prevent the candida yeast as well. So it's excellent for that. So those are the top 10 health benefits. I know you wanna just get into right away, you know, to see the, uh, all those recipes. So I'm gonna start right away now. Okay. Let's get started. So first, we're gonna see the ingredient. Um, already I chopped the stem because when I washed this uh, shiitake mushroom, I got this one about like two big packs. So it's about like 30 to 35 uh, shiitake mushroom. And you have to wash them clean and then you have to remove the, all those stems. You know, inside, so I did that already. This is already clean. And when I chopped it, I just gonna leave the two cups like this. I'm gonna put this one for like just a stir fry, and only I'm gonna use a half cup of uh, this chopped uh, stems. Okay, together. And here, organic grass fed beef is about a pound. So it's like a 454 grams of uh, grass fed beef. We're gonna use this one, and we need this one. Three tablespoons of flax seed, and you know, you know, flax seed is really, really healthy. For you. you should have a minimum three tablespoons of a flax seed every day. It's very high in essential fatty acids. So it's good. And oatmeal, it's a steel cut. It's a steel cut oatmeal. I already blended, it, so it's like a, a flour. But this one, I'm gonna use only two tablespoons. And here, parsley. I keep on telling you. Parsley is like very high in vitamin A. It's excellent. You know, you want to add it every your you know dishes if you want to actually garnish them or you want to cook them. So this one is half cup. I'm gonna actually chop this one and then I'm gonna add in the stuffing. At the same time, I'm gonna leave a little bit on the side so I'm gonna actually garnish in the end for decoration. And I have uh, organic free range 
eggs. It's a medium size, but you can have a large as well. It's like a medium or a large. It doesn't matter. It's just two eggs. And it's my favorite paste. It's a red curry paste, a Thai red curry paste. I'm just going to use one tablespoon. And always, my three is amazing seasoning. Turmeric, black pepper, sea salt. I'm going to use uh, black pepper and sea salt to just a quarter teaspoon. And turmeric powder, uh, I'm going to add a half teaspoon. And this one, this is optional. You can add in or not, but I like to add a little bit. This is raw honey and one tablespoon. And this one actually a little bit tenderize your beef. This is excellent. So I'm going to use this one. So that's about it. So, and you need, of course, you need the baking pan. And then, by the way, I already, um, you know, turn on the uh, oven, 375. So it's already ready to go. And there's a mixing bowl here, the large one. So you need this one. And yeah, let's add it. First, I'm going to add this one. You, you just have to put everything in there. That's it. And I'm going to add the two eggs. And this one quarter teaspoon. Only turmeric paper. Sometimes you can add it one tablespoon if you want, but I'm just gonna use a half teaspoon. And one tablespoon of this. One tablespoon honey. It's an option, so if you can. And parsley, I'm going to chop a little bit. I'm going to leave a little bit so I can actually garnish this one a little bit yeah, on the side. Yeah, that's it. Then you could just gonna mix well, but you need a clean hand. So yeah. So now it's uh, mixed very well. So on the side, and then if you don't have uh, ice cream scoop, just use a tablespoon. So you can do that one. And here the baking pan, I just put um, parchment paper. At the bottom, I just a little bit the uh, coconut oil to so stick together like this. And we're gonna do it now. So, what we're gonna do individual this uh, cap, uh, the shiitake mushroom cap, we're gonna just put. Um, there you go. It's perfect. That's it. I say made the 27 of a beef stuffed shiitake mushroom, so it's amazing. It depends on you know the cap size, and it can go up to like 30 and 35. But I just made the equality. Mostly it's right right now, so it's beautiful. So I'm gonna put this one the oven. Remember the 375. So I'm gonna put this one, and about like 25 minutes, and then we see. It's ready. I put exactly 25 minutes. And it's still really hot, and then it's a, a little bit beef oil come out with the turmeric. So the color is a little bit yellow, yellowish. So it's okay. So now I'm gonna try this one. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna let's, let's try one. Maybe two. Because it's one uh, beef, I put it's about. 2.5 uh, tablespoon so it's about like I can have about like a four of this you know proportion so if you want to have it as a meal you can have between four to six uh, mushroom cap you can do that so I'm gonna move this one just to try And 
make sure you know when you have this one still yes the shiitake mushroom is uh, it's a vegetable this is a lot of health benefit but make sure on the side if you're gonna have some uh, raw vegetable or salad or myself today lunch I'm gonna have some um, green smoothie so make sure you always have a vegetable on the side so let me try this one oh, it's perfect You're gonna love this one. Oh, tastes so good and so light. At the same time, those shiitake mushroom, the texture is just like a meat, you know, like a steak. So you're gonna try this one. You let me know. It's really good. Thank you for watching. See you next time.